What's up, guys? It's your boy Dev1 from theaudiobank.com. And in this video, I'm going to go over how to activate and register and install Pro Tools onto your system. This works for Windows users and Mac users, all the same. A um, little bit different on Mac, obviously, because it's a different operating system, but mostly the same. You're still going to have to register two different accounts. You're going to need to register an iLock account first, then you're going to need to register an account on avid.com. So let's go over that. First thing we're going to do, we're going to create a new tab here and we're going to go to iLock. And once you go to iLock.com, you're going to download your iLock license installer here. You gotta make sure that you have a physical iLock. If you don't already have one, it looks like this, the silver key right here. And when you download the iLock license manager, which is on this side here, then you would make sure that you create an account. So create a free account. You're gonna click on that. It's gonna load up your screen. You fill out all the information. Then you can install and launch the iLock manager. So when you have the iLock license manager, launch it on your machine, and then you would sign in. Now normally, normally what would happen is it would ask you to log in, but I already have information there so and a bunch of licenses and iLocks so therefore it automatically loads me in so every time after that it'll load you in but you need to get your license to this somehow so we can keep that loaded up and then we would go to avid.com once you get to avid.com click on account and then it would usually say sign in in this case I was kind of already signed in so you click sign in and then once you do that you're in your account then you need to click on Avid Software Activation and Download. Once you click on that link, then you would put in your registration code that's in the box of Pro Tools that you bought, um, or it's in the email that you got from Avid if you purchased it online. It's going to ask you to complete your profile, any other information of yours that you might have. You update that information, then you'll be able to activate the product. Once you click Activate, it's going to ask you for your iLock ID. Make sure it matches 100% the iLock ID information that you set up in your account for the iLock manager. Then you can go back to your iLock manager. Now you're logged in and if you don't see your license, log out, log back in, or just close it like this, quit and then reload it. And then once you do, you should see that you have an available license ready. And if you have an available license ready, you can just click on it and drag it over to the iLock key that you see. So you could just click it and then just drag it over. And then once you do, it'll activate on that iLock. It'll say the iLock status is complete. And you can quit iLock Manager and go ahead and launch Pro Tools. And Pro Tools will open and work for you. If you have any questions, comments, leave it below. And if uh, you like the video, give it a thumbs up. For more great videos from us, please subscribe and hit that little notification button so that we can send you the newest and greatest that we got straight to your mobile device. And you can check us out at any time. This is Dev1 from the audiobank.com.